Hey there, it's Heather Hakes. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to help you if you're currently in a space of lacking motivation and feel like you're drifting through life or going through the motions, I wanna help you get out of that rut. Before we dive into today's video, I wanna offer you a free video training on how to reprogram your subconscious mind. You can grab it directly in the description box below and also on my website, heatherhakes.com. I have had a lot of questions and comments and engagement lately around the topic of lacking motivation. I just need more motivation. I, I want to be motivated. And so that's what today's video is all about. I want to share with you that motivation is not your problem. It's actually only a symptom to a much deeper rooted cause. So today I want to help you, first of all, provide clarity on why you're feeling stuck, why you're unmotivated, why you're not taking action. And I want to help you close the gap and, and get you forward focused and creating some momentum in your life. So let's start at the top. When you're lacking motivation, here's one step, one problem that's actually causing the inaction. You lack clarity. If you lack clarity or focus in your life, you lack clarity. Here's the thing. If you don't know where you're going, you're never going to get there. And when you lack clarity, you lack direction, maybe you're indecisive and then that leads to procrastination. You actually just snowball this huge problem all because you lack clarity. So that's step number one. If you currently find yourself in the space of lacking motivation and not taking action and going through life's motions, I want you to sit down and create some clarity in your life. If this is new to you, I have a totally free resource on my website called the Life Assessment that will help you pinpoint some of your pain points and help you create some short-term goals. Again, it's a free resource called the Life Assessment available on my website. But here's where I want you to start. You have to create some clarity. You need to know where you're going. Because think about it like this. Would you go to the airport without a destination? No, because you could end up somewhere you don't want to be, which is exactly where you're at in life right now, going through the motions, drifting. So step number one is you must create clarity. And even below the surface of that, again, remember motivation, lacking motivation is a symptom. A deeper rooted cause is that you lack clarity, but even below that is, it could be things like fear of failure. So again, you have to uncover all of these things by taking actions, by asking yourself some questions. So I highly recommend as a first step, get pen to paper, start writing things out, just get it out of your head and onto paper. Ask yourself some questions. What excites you? If money weren't an object, what would you love to be doing? You can get paid well for doing things you actually enjoy rather than just going to a nine to five because you thought it was safe or stable. So that's step number one. It's time to create clarity and direction in your life. Step number two, if you're finding yourself in the space of lacking motivation, remember that's the symptom. A much deeper rooted cause is whatever you're doing or where you're currently at in life, you simply lack purpose or meaning. I remember when I was stuck in corporate, when I was working my nine to five, for me, the reason I lacked motivation is because I was so unfulfilled. I was going through life's motions. My life was predictable. I'd wake up every single day, hit the snooze button two or three times, sit in traffic, be five minutes late. And, and my life was Groundhog Day every single day. So for me, sitting in that space, and maybe this is where you find yourself, you lack purpose and meaning. And then that's where I got to where I'm at today. Number one, I found clarity. I invested in my first coach who really you know, ignited this change within me. And that's why I coach clients because I know what it feels like to feel stuck. But that's where I got to. I realized my dream as a young girl to be a teacher didn't just mean K through 12 or in college. I get to teach every single day via podcasting and coaching. I'm living my life with purpose and meaning, doing something I'm incredibly passionate about. So that on its own creates intrinsic motivation. 
I have clarity. I have vision. I know where I'm going. I know what I'm doing. But in order for me to get out of my own way where I used to be, I had to take action. I invested in myself and I continually invest in myself. I'm learning new things. I've failed a gazillion times, but you have to learn to let fear fuel you, not rule you. So that is step number two. First member, find clarity. Step number two, you've got to create purpose and meaning in life. Otherwise, you're simply going through the motions. All right, here's the next one. Big one, big one, number three, and I hear this all of the time. The reason you may be lacking motivation, remember, lacking motivation is a symptom. Think about an iceberg. It's just the tip of the iceberg. What's under the surface or what's really going on is you fear failure. And that fear can be paralyzing and fearing failure leads to procrastination. And then you're stuck beating yourself up for not taking action. And then you're stuck in this negative narrative and, and it's just a, a tornadic storm, right? It's a complete mess, been there, done that. And so again, what I just shared with you is it's a mindset shift, it's a perspective shift. Failure is part of it. Failure is a part of life. You have to fail, fail fast and fa fail forward. You're going to fail at doing new things. But again, I had this mindset shift for me. I love the acronym for fail, first attempt and learning. So that mindset shift is, man, I want to get in there. I want to figure it out. And if I fail, it's fine. I want to learn from it. I want to move on and I want to do better next time. So I have learned to let fear fuel me, not rule me. Did you know, let me pause for just a moment. Did you know that the physiological effects in your body, fear versus excitement are the same thing? Increased heart rate, shortness of breath, could be sweaty palms, butterflies in your stomach. Same physiological effects, different mindset. One is fear, one is excitement. When I understood that, that's why when I feel the butterflies, when I feel the fear, I go towards the thing. That is my check engine light. That is my indicator that, okay, this is the next big thing. This is my next step. I have to go after it. So the only way past fear is through it. And in order to get that intrinsic motivation back, you need clarity, you need purpose, and you've got to embrace failure. It's part of the process. All right, here's the next big thing that could be keeping you back in that state of lacking motivation. You may be overwhelmed and lack focus. And again, this kind of goes with the first one about needing clarity, but when you're overwhelmed, I know what that's like. So let me break down for you. Actually, I'm in the middle of something and I was totally overwhelmed. And when we're overwhelmed, that keeps us frozen from taking action. I love the saying, how do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. So here's how I overcome overwhelm and how you can too. Here's what I want you to do. Get to the end target. What is the end goal? Write it out. And then what you need to do is reverse engineer, break it down into tangible pieces, whether it's weekly, it's daily, it's monthly. What can you be doing? So again, reverse engineer until you get to the day. So that way you know, and it's broken down into digestible bits. So you can, now you have clarity, you have purpose and meaning, you have direction, and you're no longer overwhelmed. Let me share with you how I did this. So as an example, I ran my first marathon in 2019. And for me, running a marathon was very overwhelming. It was a big, hairy, audacious goal, something I had never done. How do you run 26.2 miles? One step at a time. But let me break down how I got through the process of training and running my marathon. Number one, I got really clear and I registered for the race. So I had my end point, May 19th, 2019. Then I started researching, I'm doing my research. I go online and I found a 20 week training plan. Then I bought a calendar. So I have this 20 week training plan. Then I went through the calendar and every single week I mapped out, I think I was running four or five days a week. I mapped out every single day, you know, a three mile run, a four mile run. On the weekends were the long run. So then I knew now I have clarity. I have direction, I have structure, I'm focusing on one week, I'm focusing on two day. 
And then I, I'm doing more research. I found a running coach. I learned about nutrition. I learned about recovery. I was doing yoga. All of these pieces could feel very overwhelming. I broke them down into digestible pieces and just took action one thing at a time. What was the most important? Finding the race, having that end goal. The second most important, I had to get training. And then everything else, I just figured it out as I went. Yes, I failed a ton. Was it hard? Yes. But who I became in that 20 week journey, that process, I mean, the strength and the persistence and the resilience has poured over not only in life, but in business. So if you're feeling overwhelmed, that can lead to lacking motivation. So what I want you to do is get really clear in your end goal and break it down into digestible pieces. What can you do today, this week, this month? The last piece I wanna to touch on here and why you may be lacking motivation is the identity aspect. And this is exactly what I coach my clients on creating version 2.0. So here, as an example, if your big, hairy, audacious goal is to become a business owner or you want a seven-figure entrepreneur, you may lack confidence and belief in yourself and you don't even believe it's possible, which is leading to imposter syndrome and then you're taking actions like you're not, procrastination, and that's why you have low motivation, the fear of failure, I'm not enough. So that is all an inside job. This is where that subconscious programming comes in. Until you have the identity shift and you create belief and you have confidence and you've embodied this next version of you, this future self of you, you will continue to lack motivation. So again, this is such a clarity piece. What I invite you to do, whatever that end goal is, get really clear. How would you have to show up? What would your daily habits be? What would your thoughts be? What would your traits be? You would be consistent. You would have follow through. You would be confident. I want you to get really clear. What is that identity piece of you? And then understand there's a gap. There's a gap between the current version of you, self-doubt, inconsistent, lacking motivation, bored and overwhelmed versus version 2.0 of you who has all of those things in place. That's the difference. When you have purpose and meaning and clarity and the identity piece, motivation is a byproduct. Again, motivation, you cannot rely on external forces. Motivation is an inside job. You need to be focused on that intrinsic motivation. And the only way you create intrinsic motivation, you have to have clarity, purpose, meaning, and identity. When you have those pieces in play, you literally become unstoppable. So here's your takeaway, and I would love to hear from you. What questions do you have around motivation or creating clarity or creating purpose? Again, remember, I invited you. I have a totally free resource on my website, Take the Life Assessment. If you're ready for that next step and you want to learn how to create purpose, meaning, and create this identity shift, I provide one-on-one -on -one coaching. I invite you to schedule a free call and apply by visiting my website, heatherhakes.com. I wanna end it with this. I just want to remind you, motivation is never the problem. Lacking motivation is a symptom to those deeper rooted causes, such as lacking clarity, feel of fear of failure, and not having the identity piece in play. Thanks for tuning in to today's video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you're the first to know when new videos drop and give me a thumbs up. I'll catch you on the next one.